to you. It's one of those things, we've always wanted to try this, but we just, you know, when you're doing all the things you normally do, when you're helping the public in all the different ways, it's like, this is kind of a back burner project. And then all of a sudden it was like, well, we really want to connect with our patrons. I'm a caterpillar munching leaves. And social media is honestly at this point one of the best ways to do that in a safe, clean way. <laughs> and so it was just one of those things where it was like, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to make it awesome. At the same time, we were seeing other comparative libraries and then publishers sort of giving permission to do virtual story times. And we decided that this might be the best way to really um, maintain a connection with our community and also continue serving um, the literacy needs of the community, um, both um, kids and their parents who might need some breaks, some content to provide for their children. Storytime is something that uh, is an ongoing program for us, so it's really easy. We have plans set up for it for months in advance. And it's really easy to translate it to something like this, to Facebook Live, where we can really take the songs that we already know and then books that we are given permission to read out loud and that our story time experts know really well as well. So it's just really easy setup because we knew immediately that we would have those kids who were gonna be missing this program. We have them that come in all the time who miss Miss Dreama, who miss Miss Magda. So we wanted to really fill that gap right away and just provide a sense of normalcy to our kids who are already, you know, we're feeling it when we close. A big part of how I choose the books now is on the illustrations, how big and bold the pictures are that they're gonna show well in the frame. But then always, I'm just gonna pick something that I think the children are gonna enjoy, something that's fun, just like today, the butterflies, they actually can have an opportunity to go outside now and look for a butterfly. We already had Facebook account, luckily, with for the library, so we just had to figure out how live worked, and that was a simple trial and error process. So that way, when we go live, it's just a simple case of moving the tripod ever so slightly, moving it back, everything's already framed. It is still going to be fun. Um, it's going to be enjoyable, just like it is when you are actually here. The bee in the garden flies round and round. I'm going to do my best to make it that way, and I still want to be connected with you. So please join us. Things like social media, um, Facebook and Instagram, where we've been really trying to push and communicate and connect with the community, we've definitely seen it increase. With Facebook, our followers, we've added 170 some followers in the last three weeks, which is huge for us. I mean, that's something like a 447% increase. I get my energy and I feed off of the children interacting with me. So it's very helpful to have Pearl and Beth there being my participants. That helps a great deal. In the springtime. That's the thing that's really important to us is making sure that we're providing content that people are actually interested in, whether it's to inform them, educate them uh, about things maybe they didn't know we already had. We'll be sharing a poem each weekday with you. Everybody's stressed out. Everybody's a bit tired. Can we entertain you in some way? It's low risk, high reward, basically. You tune in, you watch whatever it is that we're doing, you, you know, if it's the story time, enjoy a little bit of song, enjoy a nice book reading. Why, that man had to be older than he was and wearing an emerald green cloak. The Harry Potter, it's one of those things that it's just a little bit of a relaxing break from the rest of the day. You know, a time for you to stop checking the news and stressing yourself out and just unwind a little bit. Hello and welcome to the York County Public Library live stream. Because the library is all about making connections and sometimes those connections are for the purposes of entertainment. One of the silver linings of the closing is that we've had the opportunity to experiment with all these different forms that we hadn't had an opportunity to do in the past. And we actually hope to continue it in some way. We are limited somewhat for a variety of reasons of what we can provide, but we hope to continue to connect to the community on this level. Hopefully you'll come back and join us for some story times next week.